Dallas investigators revealed in court they knew the names of those who may have been involved in the 2017 kidnapping of a 13-year-old girl within 24 hours of her disappearance. Good evening, I'm Clarice Tinsley. First at 5.30, Darius Fields is on trial for organized criminal activity linked to the kidnapping and murder of Siobhan Randall. Three others were arrested and charged in relation to the crime, but no one has been charged with Randall's murder. Fox Wars Lynn Ann Wynn in court. She joins us live from the Frank Crowley Courthouse with a recap of today's developments. Lynn Ann. Clarice, the majority of today's testimony came from an FBI agent on the case who described the race against time as they tried to find Siobhan Randall alive. Tuesday morning, FBI Special Agent Jennifer Mulliken walked the jury through the timeline of the investigation in June of 2017. Mulliken says very early on, investigators already knew the circumstances surrounding this kidnapping were different. Our office had received information that this was a possibly drug-related uh, kidnapping. We realized it was a stranger abduction and um, the, it wasn't going to be something that was going to be resolved relatively quick. Very quickly, agents set up a 1-800 number for tips and hundreds poured in. They developed several persons of interest by the morning after Siobhan Randall was kidnapped. Darius Fields had been identified. Michael Titus had been identified. Um, Kendall Perkins had been identified. And I believe Laquan Wilkerson had been identified by that point. Jurors were again shown surveillance video of the robbery that started it all. Prosecutors saying Kendall Perkins, who was dating one of Siobhan's relatives, stole $250,000 worth of marijuana from Darius Fields, and Siobhan's kidnapping was retaliation. Jurors also saw video of Fields and others meeting up. Prosecutors say they were planning Siobhan's abduction. Who do we have? We believe that's Darius Fields. Investigators also went through data on Fields' cell phone and social media, which shows him discussing drug deals, flashing cash and guns, and threatening violence. There were also photos of Kendall Perkins with his girlfriend and children on Fields' phone. Four days after the kidnapping, an associate of Fields led investigators to the abandoned house where Siobhan's body was found, along with the body of Michael Titus. Mulliken says by that point, it appeared Siobhan had been dead for some time. Up until that point, were all of law enforcement still actively trying to locate Siobhan, hopefully alive? Yes, ma'am. And coming up, jurors are also expected to hear from an FBI cell phone data analyst as well as the FBI agent who processed evidence at the scene where Siobhan was found.